It's really special. I mean, hopefully, you know, I love the role, love making the film, and uh, it has been a while, but uh, hopefully, hopefully people will do it. I think he's on a journey for searching for peace, personal freedom, and uh, there's a lot more characters in this film. We see some of John's friends. We learn a little bit more about his past. And uh, there's a lot of people after him. <laughs> a lot of people after him. I go to John Wick, uh, the John Wick Academy, the John Wick Action Academy, for months and months. And I get to train with some amazing people. And, um, on this film, I got to do some wound chucks, do some driving, and the movie Judo and Jiu Jitsu, weapons manipulations. But yeah, there's a lot of action, but it's also a really intimate story, not just for my character, but a few characters in it. And I think the film is funny and has a lot of heart as well. And one look right here, please. It's the best one so far and it's a lot of fun actually this is the sixth movie I've made with Chad because when you consider the first three Matrix movies and then now three of these movies yes I mean listen Chad is uh, incredible just he's a film encyclopedia um, He's an action master, obviously. Um, and this is some of his finest work. I think people are really going to love it. Mark, come on over. Very exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. It's always uh, nice to be in the uh, uh, premiere, and especially this one. I think it's the accumulation of all the fans, and action fans in particular. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't wait to see the, uh, the outcome. Like, I've been preparing for the last 41 years in uh, my entire career, you know. Uh, I, I just jump right into the character and let it flow. One Wonderful. Chad is uh, a great director. He not only understands action, but he really understands drama as well. And he really understands uh, how each actor, uh, their, their ability and potential. And he can bring out every one of the, what, every actor's uh, maximum capability uh, which would you will see in the in this uh, in this episode but I feel very lucky to be invited into the conversation to be a part of this cast to be alongside people that I've looked up to as I look to my left Keanu Reeves you know looking on this carpet in Los Angeles California being a Canadian it's just a real moment for me and um, I'm just taking it all in and I want to soak it all up and I just feel so lucky to be starring in this movie and um, yeah thank you to everybody oh well, Chad's extraordinary Chad's done I think that's to me is the biggest the biggest thrill I get of watching is watching his skill as a filmmaker get better and better and better Keanu's terrific and all he's a, I mean I you know, he's a good friend of mine, but he's wonderful in the movie. But Chad's skill as a filmmaker and their, their duopoly of, you know, action, come feeling, come script, come making the whole thing come alive. You know, I worked with Keanu before and Chad as well. And then finally I could join to this series. I'm so, I was so happy, and especially for my role, Koji Shimazu is a long old friend of John Wick. Uh, like uh, we worked together, Keanu and I, long time ago. So we could use those chemistry in real life into the story easily. So I, I love this movie, and uh, finally we can show to the audience. I'm so excited. Real special character because um, Chad asked me to 
put the samurai spirit in my role, Koji Shimazu. So his decision all came from Bushido spirit or something like that, including a sacrifice, you know. So um, that's unique, even in this big series. So I, I hope audience can feel that kind of thing. Jump into the choreography to create their own style, uh, John Wick style, Gun Fu, plus uh, Samurai Sword. So little Japanese taste in it. So we tried to create Koji Shimazu's own fighting style. That was the most important and then interesting things for me. First of all, Keanu, you know, his real character is overlapping for John Wick. So that's why, you know, people want to support him. And also it's not like just an violence movie, you know, all the fighting has a meaning. Basically, people has own background and drama and emotion. And John is fighting for love and freedom. So after exciting action, people can feel some emotion. What is love? What is friendship? So that's the biggest point of this series, I believe. crazy because it's been two years in the making for me anyway and it's really wild to be reflecting back on something that I did so long ago um, and it finally coming out it feels so satisfying it's also the first premiere that I get to see like all the cast and crew so that's really great and I can't wait for everyone to watch it it's so sick Kira is has a lot of depth she has a lot of she has reasons as to why she is in where she is and it's not very clear if she likes it or not. And I think that's the interesting part of it. I think up until now it's felt as though everyone so belongs in this world of John Wick. But I love that she is kind of fighting against it in her own way and I, and I like that. It's amazing. Look, I'm very proud to be part of the movie. I'm a fan of all the others. I can't believe what Chance the Hellsky, the director, has done with this one. He's up the ante. He's, you know, he's, he's made a better film than the others, in, in my opinion, and I love all of them. So I'm just super proud. That, actually, I've been bugging him to put me in all of them since the first one. Now I'm in number four, and I think it works out just fine. Well, he's a dastardly fellow, but he's a bit jovial as well. Doesn't take himself too seriously. Uh, likes the sound of his own voice, a bit pompous, and probably eats too much. But he once in his former life was um, a very uh, strong assassin himself. And although he may have let himself go a little bit, there's still, uh, you know, there's still fuel in the engine. That's and the 8711 stunt team are unparalleled and they're delivering action like you've never seen before, number one. But also I think Keanu Reeves in the role of John Wick gives the character a lot of depth. Of course, Keanu is extremely likable, his personality, so it's easy to root for him. And even though we haven't killed any puppies since the first movie, we still remember about that. It's like getting punched in the adrenal gland for three hours. I, that's, and I recommend to all viewers, watch it the first time in the cinema and then go back, go home and watch it again because the first time you watch it is just overwhelming. Just rah, 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 wow. And then you watch it the second time and then you can really take in the kind of high-end level of the art in the martial arts of it and the music and the costumes and all of it. She's Roma, and she is John Wick's family member. Uh, that you know, they're all kind of the same clan. And she is uh, when the film takes place, you meet her, and she's grieving, but she's now had to push that aside and become the alpha matriarch of Berlin. It's this underground world that is fantastic, and they've got something very pedestrian, like a hotel. But that's where crim criminals are, and so they've got all these characters that we are. You know, as outsiders that aren't maybe in the underworld of criminal activity, completely fascinated by. So it's, it's that coupled with the high caliber of action. I just watch it and I'm like, how did you do this? How did you do these stunts? How did you manage to make it all work in the time you had? 
I would just say it's kind of the conclusion of everything we've worked for in the last nine and a half years. Wow. Um, trying to tie in all three previous films into this one. It it's pretty cool when you get to travel the world and I was always inspired by the early James Bond movies about the, how they took you places and they made you, made you really think about the world and the place you want to go and inspire you. So we just wanted to do the same thing. Hopefully somebody will see and go, I want to go there. Everybody, right here, Chris, right in front of you. Sorry, Chris, you good?